Welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. I am Mint Mad Cow, one of your hosts, followed by. What's going on, boys? Rex, as always. And it's me, Rice Cup. And we, we have a lot to talk about pertaining to leagues. But before we get into that, there's a lot of, just a lot of RuneScape news in general. Some other, not even smaller things, very big things we're going to cover very fast so we get right into leagues. Uh, Rice, what should be the first that you want to cover? All right, so uh, by order, let's talk about some of the uh, news about the websites, like, you know, botting websites and stuff like that getting shut down. So there's quick news about Perfect. that. Perfect. Okay. It's just a quick It's just a quick paragraph. Uh, if you want me to read I can just read it real quick. Go for it, man. Yeah, Power go for it, man. It, dude. <clears throat> All right, we are pleased to inform you that following legal proceedings our spot and power bot website will be shut down and permanently closed by midnight october 3rd yo let's go nice hell yeah bro we take a zero tolerance approach both in and out game with bot users developers gold sellers simply put we'll never tolerate cheating in our games today's success follows on from removal of the uh, arcus and bogla bogla everyone gets mad when i say it but it's so funny to say sites in 2019 damn rip bogla i don't even know i never heard of him (laughs) Those of you that have been with us for many years will know that fighting, <laughs> fighting and cheating has never been something we have shielded away from, whether it's Rainbow Wilderness in 2007. Hey, man, that's that was a, that was bad, okay? Mm-hmm. Bought Nuke Day in 2011. That was actually <clears> sick. <throat> I remember that. I'm that surprised they even brought up the removal of the wild, actually, as a point. Yeah. That's props. Yo, so uh, just quick, quick, quick thing about this. Bought Nuke Day was amazing because I remember when it, the, they just disappear for like, and they disappear for a few months. And then they they came back, but it was insane that I just you know I stopped seeing bots. God, yeah. it, it, I guess they all used like the same script or something, and you know they had to make. Have you guys work. seen so the introduction, less bots now yeah. though? After this, like I still see a ton. I mean, yeah, I still see bots everywhere. But it's hard to really tell. Every the world, G spamming websites. Yeah, Green Dragons. Yeah, Chins. Yeah. I don't know. It's just so hard to stop them at full force. They just they just create a script to create accounts. They don't even That's have to do so anything. That's so ridiculous. Yeah. Is, isn't there... There's like a Twitch promotion right now, I think, that gives free membership Yeah, that as well. too. Yeah, that too. Oh, so, wait, that like, was last probably month. Gonna, was it, was it last month? month? Yeah, yeah. I heard I about it. it. ended now. I heard about but, it. Yeah, last month it was free membership for uh, a week or two. Yeah, it was like two weeks. And if you had uh, Amazon Prime. That's crazy. But right. anyways... Um, to the introduction of bonds and more recent efforts to bring third-party clients to the line, we are forever committed to going the extra mile in tackling cheating. Be sure that our efforts will not stop relentless pursue all parties. I don't think there's much more in there. Yeah, I yeah. think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So that's cool, man. You know, it's uh, a lot of people always talk about how like sometimes it seems like Jagus doesn't do anything, but like you know, I I do trust. I do. I'm critical, you know, of Jagus, but like I think when when it comes to the bot and stuff they are you know trying pretty hard i hope so it's just it's kind of hard to stop bots when you when people can literally create scripts nowadays to make accounts on the fly like they can literally just go to bed and they'll have like a bot that could probably just you know keep shitting out accounts for them so so it's really hard how do you like really stop that right unless you go to their house and like freaking put up a warrant and like you know physically arrest them like how do you what happened to the bot busting streams they used to do those were Entertainment oh, those were and cool. fantastic. Yeah. It was like a good promotion as well. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Like, what happened to those? Yeah, they were really fun. <clears throat> I, I I think it was who was. I think it, it was, was Ma Ronan though. He doesn't. He's not working Jagus anymore. So just because one I mod mean, doesn't I, do it, I, I use no one steps up. I'll step up. I guess no I'll, one's I'll interested. Fly me over. Yeah. I'll do it. Maybe not. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I, I guess I know, like, mods, I know what I use and Sween were really like. They got on really well, and I, I think yeah. they enjoyed doing it together. And I think since I use a left. Like, they just don't have that. I, maybe yeah. it's chemistry, who knows? Dude, yeah. Like, yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, it was only so good because the two of them were so good doing it yeah, together. Yeah, I feel like the JMods has some autonomy, but they're not there anymore, so. I, they should bring it back for I leagues. Guess. Like, when people bot on leagues two weeks in, they're just, <laughs> hey, look at this guy. <laughs> See it? Oh, man. This is going to happen to you, guys. Don't bot. Boom. You know, press the button. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Uh, should we move on to the next? Um, next so thing? I think the next the thing games. is something Rakesy wanted to go over, and actually I kind of oh, wanted oh, okay. to go over. Okay, yeah, we can we can cover the ref stuff real quick. Yeah. Can I just say before Rakesy someone. gets into a rant, and I, I made a video on this as well, <laughs> the title of this blog post, and it has something to do with oh, rev God. caves and a wilderness slayer dungeon, is blowpipe ammo changes and small fixes. 
Uh, Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Small fixes? <laughs> what? Yeah, that shit cracked. I like how that. they put it under the rug for the rev stuff. Revenants yeah. is pretty much a huge pile of waste. And they RuneScape, <laughs> the team in RuneScape took out all their feedback. They call it data. And they talked about that it's not going to be the solution for the wilderness. It's not going to be a great place for them to just pile on money. They're having RWT protection clans, all of these bad things going on in the caves, and they're trying to find a way to fix it. Because if they leave it the way it is, well, the wilderness probably won't, well, it's, how, how would you put that, be there anymore? Because it's, it's already kind of revolving around revs as is. <clears throat> So they had two... Yeah, it's not viable yeah. for people that aren't doing protection. No, not really. And even for the protection clans, I yeah. mean, it's running dry now. So, like... But there's two ways for them to fix this problem. The first one, which is a very popular solution, roaming revenants. They wanted to throw revs throughout the whole wild, get rid of the caves, because they don't think the cave is very authentic. They, th they don't think it belongs in the wild. It just looks weird. So they wanted to get rid of that, throw the revs everywhere, roam them like they used to. But... Instead, they thought that because the wilderness was not active back in the day, but it's active now, that revenants would be annoying to PKers and PVMers. And just throw my two cents in there. Obviously, it's not active now, and it probably was way more active back then. But I don't think revenants would be annoying to PKers or PVMers. And even way, either way, it's going to be good money. But they didn't go for roaming revs for that reason. And instead, they went with the second option, which I didn't even know was an option, but they're going to be clearing out the whole rev cave through their slayer monsters, taking out all the slayer monsters and putting only revenants in the whole cave. And they're going to make the cave, uh, the revs roam inside the cave. There's going to be different groups. I don't know if they're going to be roaming together, but it's just going to be a whole cave full of revs. There's not going to be one secluded area. Yeah. yeah I like so that. That's their uh, solution. Like they're making it single way combat as yeah. well. So like yeah. that's, that's a fucking huge thing right there. I'm not going to lie, because the meta of killing these revenants is going to change so much. Like, you're no longer going to get one shot by PKers because there's 10 people with ballistas. <laughs> yeah. It, it's that's... like, bro, there's parts of the <clears throat> cave which are under 30 wieldy. There's parts of the cave which are under 20. So there's probably going to be a lot of people going there with salve amulets and full void. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what the new meta is going to be. Um, it, it's really fun. This is huge. Like this isn't actually just a small other update. Like this is actually it's really big. big. Um, it hasn't happened. Well, it's it's yeah, blowpipe, you know, ammunition changes yeah. and small fixes, of course. So, <laughs> yeah, and, and like the implications from this as well. Like you boys, like think about the uh, the PvP weapons, like the uh, what's it called, the, the the bow. What's it called? Crossbow. The, crossbow. Crossbow. Crawl, crossbow. <clears throat> it's like, is that thing gonna go down in value? Is that thing gonna skyrocket? I think it's gonna absolutely bomb really and then it'll probably pick up like, well no, i think like, it depends um... because I, I i think go up to be honest because protection made like you know getting those items more efficient i'd say and if the whole cave is packed like, it's gonna shit. have much more use i yeah. mean people are like what 15 wild killing the mm -hmm. small revenants of crossbows or something i don't know could be i feel like yeah, it yeah, keep yeah. in mind they, they keep in mind they're, they're gonna be more spread out so you can't camp them like you could before Dude, you know, I, I think it's gonna be. Like I, I, I was gonna, yeah. I was it gonna invest in some of those bows, and then I sort of like hesitated. I was like, wait, actually, I, I think they will go down to start with. I, I think that a lot of people that are only interested in Morty, yeah, people perhaps. that can only be protected will probably dump them. Um, but over the long term, there's, I, I guess, less will yeah. be coming into the game. But Tom, I the, guess. the mace is already up. The mace is like almost four mil. It, it, it was like two. Are they going up already? already. Yeah, oh, damn. I think it's because the Slayer yeah, Dungeon, the Slayer Dungeon, which we haven't got into, might also be a factor. Also, that Rev Caves is all singles, right? It's not scary multi to risk your plus one Revenant weapons and might be a factor. And of course, single plus, which is going to be the new uh, combat um, system, like multi and single, but it's kind of in between, where if you're on an NPC, you can get attacked by a person and they have priority on you, which is something I've been talking yeah. about for a while, and I'm mm -hmm. glad it's finally happening. Boxing's going to be a thing of the past in at least Revenants. So. Yeah, at least Revenants. Yeah. Sorry, Rice, dude. what were you saying, buddy? I, I, dude. Should we uh, move on soon to the next uh, Dude, if I can do one last thing. Yeah. 
Min, how excited are you for Dude, this? I'm excited for like, are you happy? Are you happy it's going from multi to single, or are you upset? Because Bro. I've had like a mix. Well, the thing is, like, bit of going from multi to single, but then they're adding a Wilderness Slayer dungeon, and they're taking all the Slayer monsters, throwing it into this dungeon, and that's going to be multi. So it's like we have another area, and it's going to have boosted Laren key drops. So we have an area mm -hmm. for people to do single and double PK, which is my favorite, right? So I'm fucking ecstatic. But then if you want to fuck around with your boys, bring them over to the Slayer Dungeon. Pop a couple people doing Laren skis. Yeah. Maybe even kill a couple monsters if you're just chilling there. It's probably good money. They're going to be adding possibly even more monsters to you. Abyssal Demons, Gargoyles, who knows? It is, it's a solid <laughs> update. I cannot wait. I don't yeah. know when it's happening, though. I have I, no idea. Yeah. I, I actually think I might like get back into PK and from this. I have man. to slap it up. Like dude. just going to Rev Caves. Yeah. It's gonna be like I'm not even kidding, man. Like revenants are like there's such good money. And it's like being able to like the reason I don't go Rev very much is simply because it's Morty. I know there's a lot of people that love Morty, but I've always been a single dude. And I've always preferred that like tenfold over anything Morty. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good point you make about the Slayer Dungeon as well. Like I, I don't think it's gonna be as active considering revenants are just revenants dude i got told today apparently uh average revenant kill is like 35k it's not great i don't know how true that is it's not great but no that's good dude one revenant on average 35k that's actually fucking insane yeah, sorry pretty, i was thinking, thinking about my kill. experience where i just get piles of coins for it so i just get real <laughs> unlucky yeah you know? no but like yeah with protection right you you can cycle through a lot oh of easily them. yeah easily. um I, here's the here's Anyways. the big question is <laughs> yeah. do we think that the uh the protection people I, like obviously they're not going to be able to do their jobs and a lot of people yeah. are worried that the protection clans are now going to turn into that's what i was about to say where they track people I was, one final mm -hmm. point and then we'll move on to trail I, I think we should save most of it for like when it actually comes out to be honest yeah. well w w one w so we don't rehash yeah. it but yeah one, one thing go ahead protection clans could turn into yeah. rag clans because all you have to do is attack someone and they can't attack any revenants so you just fill up your envy of bruise and you rag. And there's already rag clans out there, Venezuelans, whatever um, the protection clans were made of. No, you know, whatever. But we know some of them are Venezuelan. I mean, you can't. How hard is it to teach someone to rag? <laughs> right? It's not. It's even know, easier. Like, so it could yeah. be bad. But. Dude, the only, the only thing I'll say is I think that the raggers will soon realize they can make a lot more money and be more productive by killing the revenants than actually. Yeah, to, to be honest, it's not going to work out too well because ragging worked well because all you had to do was hop from the same spot to another world, right? Whereas roaming revs, it's the entire dungeon. Do you think they're going to roam to other places or is it going to be like certain yeah. camps of areas where you're going to find a response? Yeah, but, like, but, the whole, but the whole idea is... Now that they're not in one spot, it's going to be really hard for it. people to do stuff like that because, think about it, you, you get hit in one spot, but everybody else could be in another spot. And then you would have to, like, run all the way over there and then hot yeah. worlds, like, you know what I mean? Like, how, a lot of things. They're going to need so much more people, right? Hey. Like, yeah, they could rag, but you could easily just go to a different spot entirely. You could freeze log under them, you, you know? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, mean, dude, yeah. I, I have a little bit more faith. I, I don't think people. So it's going to be I not that efficient. Faith. Like, they can try to rag, no but faith. it's not going to have that. I, I think the people that are ragging will also be killing the revenants. So, worst case scenario, they instantly go from no longer being raggers to actually bank loot. So, it's like they'll be worth killing. Uh, but I have more faith in people. I think that people yeah. will fight back, but like, bro, if I can rock up there and max mage. And like max strength, I ain't, I don't care about some kids black D height. Dude, dude, you rock up in that gear, and I see you, dude. And we're making dude, a video, yeah. bro. Wait, wait, wait. Shit, man, this is what's so good, dude. It's literally like a hive mind for people that like to single PK to go to, which is actually profitable. Like, I'm so excited. This is like the best PvP update yeah. I fucking heard. Not of. even a PvP yeah, update, it's no, a blowpipe it's been, update. It's been needed. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the thing is, like, this is just for me because I'm a single yeah. player. Like, if I was a multiplayer, I'd be like, this is the worst news ever. But for me as a solo PK, I'm like, this is actually going to be fucking gonna be perfect. awesome. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to get void for this. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we want to make the majority of this podcast about Trailblazers since it's just about to come out around the corner. We don't know when any of these Willy yeah. updates would, would hit, if they would hit. So, um, and RuneScape. Yeah, we can talk more about the consequences yeah. when it happens. They just released this today, October 8th, 2020. Um, and I think it's only right. Rice, would you like to read the, uh, hmm. I've not actually read this. Uh, did you, did anyone go over this before? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I went over is, uh, it. Is the this uh, this good, or sh do you want to? It's pretty. Sh it's pretty quick. Okay. Well, it's like rather short actually, because like they made they've made several posts right about leaks, and I think the first one that we we cover was during the Gazette, and that was like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, it seems a lot more uh, uh, detailed. Yeah, I guess I guess I we should we should just go over this. It's really fast. It's actually not that okay. much to talk about. Okay, That's so. Good. There's less than a month until Leaks 2 Trailblazer begins on October 28th. So set your dates, guys, because it's coming in like... You gotta yeah, wake up days. at 2 a.m.? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, and it's gonna be... Uh, what is it? 12 p.m. UK time, right? When the update hits? 12 p.m. So you guys... Yeah, it's about right. Oh, you guys yeah. have a great yeah. time. So <sighs> it's time to take a closer look at the core mechanics unlocking areas. And this article will take a detailed look into all the nine regions so you can start planning on how you'll conquer trailblazer but before we get started we want to say massive things okay about the feedback yeah they did get a lot of feedback they asked oh, consecrators and stuff it's like just that, pouring so. out I, they can't read all of it yeah, there's yeah, no way yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep people are too excited uh, everyone will start right so here's kind of like the rules of unlocks right so everyone will start with access to two oh, shit, regions two? you're gonna get okay. pretty much yeah, you get lumbridge of course like the you know the and the areas around it the free-to-play area this one? Yeah. uh yeah, most most of most of the free to play area. Yeah, it's it's called Mislin, right? The region, mm -hmm. and you're also gonna get Karamja, but you have to do a tutorial first before you can unlock Karamja. Uh, but yeah, everyone's gonna have these two regions. That's a little weird. So uh, you gotta do a tutorial. So yeah, <laughs> starting in Mislin, right? Your starting area is one familiar to all players, both new and old. It covers the entire kingdom along with Fossil Island. So that's there's some interesting parts to it. You get Fossil you Island. Get Fossil Island you with Mislin. Very place. Yeah, okay. yeah, you get that automatically. Cool. You get Zanaris and you get the Abyss. So I was pretty shocked to you know when they decide to add all these as well. But like it, it does make sense. These areas don't really belong anywhere, so they're just like fuck it. Let's just you know attack. Yeah, maybe the, like the main area, area you start in is gonna be just yeah. the best. <laughs> like you unlock other stuff, but this yeah. is a massive place, right? Compared to those. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna get Karamja as well. So you know they want to see how people are gonna. Uh, you can you scroll down a bit. They oh, want to see how people. Dude. Are going to are, are unlock they, different they, regions and relics to conquer like the inferno. Like how are, are they changing the map? Like are they literally it's having like teleports? Like, next I believe camp? that you take. No, they're not really. They're not moving the map or anything. They're just creating borders, barriers, and portals to like connect the places that you. So if you go through the barrier, and, like, stop you from going to places that you can't go. Do you know if you go through the bor uh, the border, or is that just there to stop, or do you go through the portal to get there, or both? I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be some portals to go from one region to another. Like, you can't go to regions that you didn't unlock, right? So if you're going to a region that is far away from you, from your, you know, original location, you're going to need some sort of teleport, right, to get, okay. there, to get there, right? Wait. And you can't physically cross places that you're not allowed to because they're going to have, like, a system where it's like, you know, you can't go through it. I like that they let you start with two regions. Like, that information right there means that anyone can do Wilderness Slayer day one, right? Which is probably dangerous if anyone's out there picking a fire strike but like laren's key buffs and stuff you finally get that day one boost well, well, uh, well the, the wilderness is its own region so you're not gonna get that with free to play well yeah but you everyone i've had, oh yeah, i you, thought you unlock two regions no 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 karamja is and miscellane is free and then the rest you have to unlock. So the, the rest you have three choices, uh, right? That you can fuck, unlock. you don't? Okay. All right. The way yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so you don't get mind. to choose I the like first it. two that's free. The first two that's free is not, free. not as exciting, but fair. <laughs> you got to unlock your places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah. I was hoping you could just start in the wild. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Three. Yeah, you can unlock fine. three more places, though, which is, is, is pretty nice. Yeah. So the other <laughs> places that you can choose is going to be Arscania, Canaan, Mauritania, Korean Desert, Freemanic Province, Terrian Wilderness. Right here. Uh, okay, so in Dude. detail, right, the Arscania... Yeah, here's a map, right? We have this background map. It's pretty nice because it also, is Also, cool comment section, man. Did anyone know that any of these yeah. regions were called this? Like, the first time I've ever heard of Mifflin, right? I knew that was called the desert, Mifflin? so I got that yeah, one right. Um, everything else, <laughs> I didn't know, man. Well, you, you, you can't be wrong, even if you guess it's <laughs> the correct word. Desert? I was surprised it all got, like, some weird, like, Alibaba name or some shit, man. Yeah, it should have been, like, Korean. Yeah. It's something, bro. It's just fucking uh -huh. desert, and then everyone's named the same shit. Like someone didn't care. 
<laughs> yeah, Dude. like I, some of these names are familiar, like Mauritania, of course, like Wilderness. Yeah, you know. Fremenic. The, the thing I like about this is like there's just there's an option for everybody. It's like if you want to do PVM, there's like a certain area oh, for yeah. it. If you want to do, I've just read the PVP, and it's like if you kill another player, you get nothing, but you just fucking delay them, basically. You can do like, that. You, yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Like, Until there's, there's protection there's clans on leagues, bro. Can you imagine protection clans on leagues? Oh man, uh, that's that's what scares me, dude. That's why I'm like, if I go wilderness, I might be throwing away my whole career. Because <laughs> nah, it's, yeah, it's not gonna. I don't Army know, of bone know, crossbow just... boys, two hours in, just <laughs> yeah, it, that's <laughs> possible, dude. Yeah, nah, I, I think people will spend more better better of their time in in such a limited. <laughs> Some people you know, just like thing. to watch the world burn. Yeah, but maybe we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I, I think think a majority won't won't worry about that. So, what area do you guys think is going to be the best one with the most content? Because I kind of feel like, in some ways, like the wildy does have stuff to offer, but it's kind of yeah. like, you know, you want to go somewhere where yeah. you can be. Bryce, there do you have that months, picture? Right? You want to be somewhere you can be where you months. see all the drops you get from different areas? Yeah, it's in the chat. It, it's um, in the chat. which one, dude? Sorry, you posted so many. Oh, just scroll up. Just scroll up, dude. It's literally is right it there. The, like you'll see the full pick. Just scroll up, you'll see it. You'll you'll see it, bro. So the PVM one uh, would look as if it's the uh, the blue one. Uh, I don't know how to say that word. Oh, I had it. it. But you can go to Gold Wars if you I do. I had that. it up already. I just said. Well, yeah, you mean Askania? Yeah, Askania. Yeah, that's yeah. like where Faldor and stuff is. Yeah. Dude, I, I think that's the sweaty one. That's the one for the hardcore players because you can even get a max cape. You can't get in. that in the other one. Let ones. me zoom in, bitch. I think you can maybe find a max cape. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't it doesn't show a max cape on the other ones, so I just oh, you, you can't get there to unlock it. So this is what I was yeah. talking about. So Rakesy's question: <laughs> Which would be better? And it shows every region with all the unlocks, which is sick. Who made this? Was Rune? Did Runescape make this? No. So no, it's so fan it's made. Hire this guy. This is sick. Hire him. Look at this. Oh Dude, my gosh! Hey. The intro might have the uploader. And I think Mortania nope. or the God War Dungeon one or the Wildy are going to be the best. They're the ones well, I take. It's like Mortania, you got Barrow, Slayer Tower, and Mortania Tyrion. obviously top you know? tier, right? Yeah, obviously like, it's just too. I good. mean, everyone's going to do a settled bro, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, a hundred. You got Barrow, you got all these mini games, dude. I'm not going to go Mortania just because I don't want people asking me to do Theater of Blood. <laughs> oh, when, when are you going to do Theater of Blood, dude? <laughs> nah. They used to nah. done some theater of blood. Yeah, even <laughs> then, like in in like what kind of gear would you be able to get to do theater of blood? Yeah, it'd be pretty right? bad. Gear, it would dude. be. Yeah, you need to be pretty. You would need to be pretty experienced. I'll be missing game. barrows, but I, I want to do it, yeah. bro. I, that yeah, sounds oh, I'm and then it look. It looks like Fremenix kind of weak, right? You get the rings and a dragon axe. We well, get lunar though, bro. You Is lunars, lunars really worth a whole unlock though? Well, you get DKs and you get Kingdom. I mean, uh, if you get uh, like yeah. noted DK Bro. bones, maybe, but I don't think you can, right? Wait. Maybe. Can, can you ima can you imagine if Verf is the only person that picks Karamja? Look how weak, <laughs> dude! It's such a bad region. They put a fucking room crossbow and Karamja. But they give it to you though. <laughs> like, uh, it does go it's a little like, qualm, like, no dude. One, no one's gonna fucking yeah, do no, it. No exactly. It's just that. the hype. It's it just, comes free is, though. No, Karamja is free. free. Right? You are. You are. Everybody gets it. Karamja, everybody. Oh, and you okay. get all of Shiloh okay. Village all apparently right, too, right? So it covers that whole area, which is yeah, nice. yeah. All of Karamja is pretty much free. So. The reason why is because they there wasn't a whole lot of content in there, oh. you know. Except there is a pretty pretty dope race that could happen with like fire caves and inferno True. caves and stuff. Yeah. Boys, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, I might get sweaty on this, dude. I might have both of my accounts. I might have one of them doing like the wilderness, one of them doing Mortania, dude, and yeah. like train them simultaneously like and just like try to get to that end game content. Yeah, man, you could totally do that. This sounds fun as fuck, man. Like I, yeah. I'll be honest, I haven't really looked. This is like my first glance into this. I, I've like seen pics and I've just been like, oh, oh I'll get to that. The wilderness comes. unlocks like, corp, awesome. dude. I didn't yeah. even realize that. And it's not in PvP. So people are gonna ask me to solo right. corp now? Fuck, dude. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've tried to do. I mean, no, you, 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 you kind of can't do it solo. What are you gonna kill with? I don't yeah. know, you, don't dude. Have, you don't have weapons. <laughs> Vigor's maze. Just, I don't you don't know. have the gear. You know, just say you don't have the gear. Okay, I'll just lie. Yeah, or I tell the truth, really. Oh no, it's the truth. You just can't do it. This is this is a cool it, overlook like, though. Yeah. Unless you have relics, maybe that that could overcome Here. it. But well, we're all gonna pick know. three we'll see, regions. We'll all right, Ryan, you go first, so we can copy. What what are you? Where are you gonna go? I'm well. I'm not like a hundred percent sure because I feel like the relics are gonna be such a pivotal part of my decision making. But Mauritania, though, 
Yep. Is for sure. And the two maybes is probably Arscania and Elf City. Because, you know, uh, Elf City has Zora and, and like, uh, you know, Sokano and, like, Hunlif and stuff. Yep. And um, Oh, you better get the pet, finally! Yeah, <laughs> fuck, if I get the pet there, it's actually not bad, because I keep it. So so Arzgani has Damn, Zokano. Wait, what? Is that what you said? You keep, what, what do you mean, keep it? You, what, yeah, goes pets, you, the next it. you didn't know? Le in leagues, pets are permanent. Yeah. Well, I have, I have it doesn't switch over yeah, the I game. It doesn't switch over the game. I'm literally oh. going to start off this league with an omelet behind my back. I'm so mad. Right. I'm so I, mad I you actually, have pet. I, I do have, I have a question for the both of you, because I didn't yeah. play the first one. Um, yeah. Right, so I do yes, see... Yes, I was ranked 49. You're welcome. Now, my question is, uh, do you have to do quests, or are they automatically unlocked? They didn't really say a whole I lot about I hope you don't them, have to quest. Right? Okay, because read that. if you, do, if you don't want to do quests and you want a shit ton of content, like, Mortania's yeah. going to be your boy, 100%. To like, be honest you're going to be able you, to just get arrows, get whips and stuff. It's yeah. going to be a good time. To be honest with you, with the way that, you know, leak is limited time and stuff, I just don't think we need to do quests. I hope Just not. because of the fact that, hey, if you unlock the area, you unlock the area, in a sense, yeah. right? So I Dude. don't think you have to do quests. It wouldn't really make much sense because you only have two months, bro. I don't think you want to spend a week prepping just to get, D, uh, like, DS2 done or something, right? Yeah. That would very be kind of lame. That would be very Dude, lame. I, I will say this. I hope yeah. that uh jagex have like when i think of mortania is it how many worlds is it going to be for there, each location worlds what do you mean is in like is, are there going to be like 10 worlds where you can be logged into this and you can be in your oh, set location? oh well it started it started with a good amount and then as player count decreased they started trimming it down okay because so we I, had 20 uh i think we had like 20 to start and then it started yeah going down dude bit. I'm just thinking about people in Mortenia doing Slayer in the Slayer Tower, and there being like a yeah. hundred people for every walking hand. <laughs> yeah, like, now day I, I one might be a little packed. But here's the deal, though. There's a lot of regions, right? So you know, I, not everyone's gonna pick Mortenia. I, I know it's gonna be a hard hitter because of PVM. I know a lot of people are gonna go for it, but but like not everyone's gonna be there. So hopefully, I'll alleviate some of it, right? Because some people might pick, I don't know. Uh, Ascania, right? And and do like Taverly stuff, right? Kill Blue Dragons yeah. instead. Yeah. So yeah, uh, hopefully it, the congestion is okay, but we'll see. We, we shall see, right? Yeah, that's a concern. Is, is Vorkath unlocked? I can see it on the map. Probably. Yeah, right? Yep. I'm pretty sure. It'd be I heard, I heard yeah, Zora is where it's going it. to be at, uh, though. The question is when you could kill it, right? When can you kill it? Like what gear? What's going to be your league setup, right? To kill it? Because it's not going to be an easy kill. That's for sure. I believe if you unlock Freeman Egg, you should get Vorkath, probably. Dude, I got a question real quick. Right, so, I, obviously, this is fan-made, so it's not accurate, but, like, in Mortania... It's Mortenia, not 100% accurate, but it's close. In Mortania, it shows uh, the Avernic Defender. But, like, you gotta go to the Warriors Guild or Champions oh, Guild. Oh, you don't actually need that. They, they, they won't... They will just give you a Defender. Just oh, like how okay. in Twisted League, if you get a Cold Eye butt plug, you just get the Cold Eye one. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I didn't play the first one. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so they just like though. scrapped the second, uh, the yeah, secondary oh, nature. When people killed Hydra, they just got the lance, didn't they? Yeah, that's right. yeah I just got so, the lance. Racy, so, Racy, what would you pick for your three areas? Or what are you thinking? Right, right. I'm going to have to check out the wilderness just because, you know, why wouldn't Perhaps. I? Um, <laughs> Mortania, a definite as well. Um, and then probably for content the god war dungeon one to be honest you live there um so. yeah, that's our yeah that's our sky yeah yeah like follow door and stuff I, I think they're my free however i will probably hopefully if i really enjoy this i'll probably check out all of them as garnia seems like, just like to be the pvm yeah. capital right it's got all the slayer masters all the other all god wars bosses a cannon for slayer i mean it's where you're gonna want to go if you pvm yeah. that looks great i mean well, I Dude, I, I think, think you can. yeah, I guess you can because you don't have to do the quest, bro. Yeah. I think Mortania is gonna be <clears throat> the most challenging and PVM rich because, yeah, like absolutely. this, this is what TOB is gonna be interesting. TOB right there, right? Think about this. You gotta get your barrows, oh, your slayer up to be able to go and do it. You gotta get basically everything, right? Secondly, yeah. once you get it, it's like you get an early scythe. It's like, oh shit, you're fucking made for this place and you can do it way like going from like guffing in the Yo, fucking bosses and scythe. I want you yeah, I think it's it's to get a scythe. Get a scythe, Rexy. I dare you. I dare you, man. Dude, they I got think... the nightmare as well. 
Oh, I didn't Here, see that. Here's something that people are going to actually get hit with, and, and, and it's going to be a reality check for a lot of the more experienced players. When you go into leagues, you're going to realize a lot of the stuff, especially this league, you're going to realize a lot of the stuff that you're used to. You're going to be take, You're going to realize you're taking it for granted because think about it this way. If you get a scythe in this type of gameplay, you're going to realize blood runes are going to be incredibly hard to get. So you well, might have to just... You have arrows right there. They're just, they're, they're just going to do it like the Defender where you get like infinity charges on a man. There's oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. <laughs> there's no... no, there's no. So, where no, where no. do you get bloods in Mortania? Exactly. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Mean? You're going to be taking it for granted. And it's going to be the same for like Blowpipe too. Oh, Barrows with the Elite yeah. Diary? Are you kidding me? You're going to be shitting bloods, bro. I had like 35. That's a good no, you're going to have to do a lot of Barrows though. You're, 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 I mean, like a fuck Well, yeah, type. but you're going to get they, points they for that, right? I mean... You don't get blood runes like that, man. It should be that worth barrels. doing barrows, I wonder. I feel like it will. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to be choosing. It just means I, that if you want to use the scythe, you're going to have to do so much barrows. I, you're going to puke. Yeah. You're gonna, Dude, you're gonna, man, you're gonna puke from I've only just realized after using the scythe in TOB how <laughs> thirsty that thing is, bro. Yeah. I, it's the first time me using it ever for the last week. And I mean, you put 10,000 yeah. bloods in, you get 3,000 hits. Yeah, 3,000 hits goes in like... A day oh, or dude. two of doing TV. You're, you're gonna be rough oh, off then. You're gonna be rough I've off. Used, oh, dude. I've used like dude, I've probably used over five hundred thousand blood runes, yeah, already. Like just on that one weapon. But anyways, like think about it too, like blowpipe as well. Where are you gonna get all the darts? Because you can't do the quest, you can't make darts yourself. If you have the one of the Yo, tiers, the unless you're what's the um, desert, right? So if you want to use the bow fight, you kind of what's have that to first relic? I plan to go the first okay. relic where you can make things instantly no. in your inventory. What's that called? Unless they let you make the darts without the quest. Um, you're right. You do so need a quest. A I didn't even realize. Yeah. yeah, exactly. See, that's that's see, that's why I'm saying like we're gonna take a lot of these things for granted because we're so used to certain restrictions not being restrictions, right? In the main game, so you, mm. you it never crosses your mind that like, oh wait, I had to make my own darts. Like I got a, a shit, but I don't have desert a lot. Hey, I, I don't know if I can actually make these. Like that's, that's the, rough. We, we're gonna get into so many of those problems, dude. Where we're like, you you. You plan something amazing, but then you realize that there's a requirement that's in another region, and you might get cucked because yeah. you didn't pick that region, and and all your plan has failed. So yeah, that means you have to plan super carefully. You have to think about like every step. Does it involve another region that that is not unlocked for you? Because if you don't think about it, you're gonna screw your plans over. Hundred percent. So hundred percent, dude. Yeah. This is why I'm saying I'm a little concerned about perma. You know, like being really confident with my picks because. I just don't know what the relics are. I feel like relics could change everything. You know, like yeah, last that's time, the only I, info we don't relics, have. I mean, we have the yeah, exactly. side effects for each relic unlock. I don't know if I have the picture for it, but th that's out there. The info's out there, but the relics themselves are going to be released. Someone told me like a day before. I don't know if that's true. No, it's, it's on the day. On the day. On the day. Out. Like wow. as soon as it comes out, you'll get the update. Page I kind of like that, info. but I mean, I wanted to yeah. theory craft a little more, but I guess it gives me it's an advantage because against like yeah. Luke's or somebody who just would maniacally defeat this game with theory crafting, I guess it all puts us on a, yeah. a play field there. Not bad. Yeah. So I can only kind of be guessing what i want you know but without the relics i just can't be certain yeah i'm very excited I, to know what the relics are because hopefully i'll cover for some of the issues that my choices would have you know yeah so i i think i think maybe a good idea like a good fairy graph for this could just be don't play it and wait until um <laughs> dead Mamut comes back no way, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finalize everything on the first. I'm a game. PKer, but this looks I'm way better than Dead Man this, Mode. This, this, this does, this does sound really good. I think there's yeah, gonna be yeah. a lot of trial. Do so you think there, Dead Man right? Mode's oh, better absolutely. though? You think yeah. Dead Man Mode's better than this? Like you enjoy it more? Oh, dude, are you dude, serious? I'm not a real like, PKer then, because I'm getting wet bro, over this. Bro. This looks awesome. Wait, wait, oh, let me finish. Bro. Look how much, look how much they put into this, dude, know, dude. Dead Man Mode got like. Dead Mama would got like a fucking ten percent of this. You're kind right. Of You're hundred percent right. Of course, this is ten times better, dude. There's like this it, is it, phenomenal. But Dead Mama mode PvP and also hard to gets ruined. Man, it's this like hard. fast. Yeah, this is really hard again. Yeah, like yeah. Th this is basically how Dead Mama mode should have been, uh, just with PvP. But do you think that would have stopped oh, nice. somebody from getting like Piety Day One and like a VLS and full gear and then killing everybody in sight and then the game dies in a week? If a lot of work went into it, like would that still not happen? These people eating Cheetos, drinking Mountain Dew, oh, I'm a fucking ruin this game, yeah, bro. See, the, the difference between stuff them. like Demon Mode is that nobody can just kill you and take all your shit. 
know what I mean? Where here you can play to your to your oh, delight yeah. and not worry about somebody jacking your shit. You can do the whole right. plan you set up. You're like, okay, I can do all of this. We're in dead mode. You're like, all right, I'm up to here. Dead. All right. And then someone kills you. You're dead. like, oh fuck. Dude. And I like dead. Yeah, mode, that's it's so. But I'm rough, much dude. more excited about this in my opinion. Yeah, it's not it's not casual friendly demo mode, but this is definitely casual friendly. Oh, you know, dude, so casual. Yeah, dude, it, it does kind of make me wish that they did do like an Iron Man DMM. Like, literally, imagine if they did it so brutally, where it's like you kill somebody, you literally get nothing, but they lose their shit. Like, just to see who would play it and how far it would go. But either way, but yeah, this does yeah, look fantastic. The thing is, like, like demo mode has so many holes and flaws; it's so hard to address. Like, this is such an easier. It, it's it, it's a way more yeah. functioning way to make something which is proper and people will enjoy. I think Jagex have made like a really good business. Um, this was a good business. Plan. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Good plan. Yeah. Yeah. No like to, would, would you like to show your friend's spreadsheet on the? So yeah, one of know, my honestly, viewers Ryan. sent me a spreadsheet, and I'm not a spreadsheet guy, but I know Rice Cup is. Yeah. I, it, okay. So all right, it, it shows everything. So if you look at the bottom here. This is gonna, you know, tell you how this is gonna work, right? So you see how like this person kind of created tabs for like different skills and stuff. So essentially, anything that is like relevant to that skill, that's a major feature of the skill, he basically placed which region would have something involving that skill, as you can see. So if you go through like the different tabs of skills, um, by the way, like, if you click on the tabs, like the community, bottom, if you, you okay, see the, oh, I see him. Okay, see the tab on the bottom. which one do you want me to click on? Overview or yeah. Anything, just click on a few okay. of them, right? You'll you'll see what I mean by that, right? Cool. So like what is that one? Uh melee. Let me melee, right? So like something that's uh you know very well known. You got the areas the up here, skill. Kromja, Mortania. They, have, they highlight all the stuff in the areas Deer. that that involves that skill. Add you can get rune so. armor, Mifflin. Oh yeah, I know where. Okay. We're gonna leave like should we yeah, link this in good. our video too, in case they want to oh, go for it? Yeah, go. okay, yeah. good. Yeah, this this will be very useful. I don't know who 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 made this, but credit to you know. I wish I made could. Uh, is there a name? I, I don't know. I think there's a name in here. I, I'll find it. Like, cause this is where this very is. Well. They... I wish I had I had the name for the person that made the map as for well. Real, they're both very impressive. I mean, I, they yeah. should, they need to make our thumbnails. Like, they got skills. <laughs> you got some skills, man. Yeah, I doesn't. Dang, unfortunately, there's no. Person, what's the no best place here, to dude? mine like, dude autumn elegy where are we going <laughs> autumn elegy the only guy to unlock desert here <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this is really useful for theory crafting you know if you're not sure which area you're gonna pick i mean why not look at this especially to see what are some of the highlights of every skill and which region contains you know said highlights right for real like i'm i'm pretty curious about herbal let's see what this guy's okay. got if you go on the section real quick okay so we got miscellin that has some you know good gathering farming there's three patches actually there's three patches what the hell that's actually really yeah good. well yeah there's a lot of patches in uh, the main area yeah. and you got yeah. limp roots for uh, uh birth so whereas oh, mauritania's got actually a decent amount there's some farming stuff in there wow there's three herb patches in mauritania too that's actually nasty i forgot about that and also wilderness has chaos druids uh skyn has got chaos druids Freemonix got Torah. Oh, those are terrible. Miscellaneous, nah, it's not worth it. It's too short. But, like, you see what I mean? It makes planning so much easier because then you get to see which area has, Dude, like, desert. You got all, potato cactus? All the different highlights. <laughs> right? If you struggle with a certain skill, right? If you go on that skill, you can see which region will have, you know, the strongest. Uh, aspect for you this right? is this is sick now so, that i know how to use it i don't even see these bottom parts yeah, here I mean, either, right? it's beautiful cool. dude Intuitive, really. beautiful man it's great absolutely beautiful yeah if you if you own this you know feel free i feel to like the, down the smartest now. person with the most amount of time is gonna win this you know what i mean just because oh absolutely as long as you have time <clears throat> and an insane brain to where you can like read this like a like a book, you know, and just go, okay. Yeah, this, this, like this. assuming you are going for high scores, right? Yeah, like planning this stuff out is going to be very important for you because you're trying to, you know, you're probably going to try to maximize all your level ups and all that crap. But but they did say skilling isn't going to be like super meta anymore. Like they're going to, they're trying to balance it out more between PVMing and, and skilling though. So so I might actually have a chance to go for some good high scores. Yeah. Through PVM, whereas lastly I couldn't because it was like eighty percent focused on. You and a cold so. one are gonna demolish. Oh my god! Yeah, so it should be really interesting. That's great. We haven't even really touched the main page we were on here. We just kind of went off on too because yeah, there was so well, much to talk about. It just breaks down the regions for us. 
So I mean, we can go over it as well, like uh, the Arscania, like the different regions okay. and what what they contain, the highlights, I guess. So oh, yeah, the more official highlight. Yeah, you can read it if you want. I'm, I'm I like this new. There he goes. I like this new. <laughs> Emergency bathroom door. Are you sure it's not hour in? The pizza game. You could have just did my no, thing, no? Right. Okay. No, I, think, I think it's just emergency. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, so this is the new kind of, uh, what do we call it? The art for the, the point page. Last time we had this bar and it was a little, it's a little different. This one's kind of broken up as you can see. I don't know why. 28 tasks yeah, complete. This is nice. This is nice. I don't, I don't know why. What happens when you get to this part? I don't know. Something cool. They got a bunch of pages. Really, really good, uh, clean art. I swear the art team never lets you down. Uh, yeah, it just gives you an idea of what areas you're actually unlocking, you know, versus what you can't, right? They also, because it shows the boundaries, too. A bit. Yeah, it's really well done. Um, your starting area is uh, one familiar to all players, both old and new. Covers the entire kingdom of Mithlin. Mithlin. I don't fucking know. With Fossil Island, Zarnius, and the Abyss, as well as underground areas combined within. Uh, there's some restriction like Alcarid, Port Serum. So Ports Alcarid was the desert area, like the whole. It makes sense too because it's a fucking desert. But Port Serum apparently is not unlocked. Canafis, obviously, uh, the western exit of a Barbarian Village. You can't go up there. Then you unlock Karumja as well when we start. The example of such balancing in Karumja. Wait, throughout development, we worked hard to keep areas balanced to ensure that no one unlock was more desirable. Well, isn't it for... F it, so, balancing Karamja, they just gave it to us. That's why. Because it yeah, wasn't... They gave it to us, yeah. Because it wasn't great, right? The areas in there. Sorry. Yeah, there a whole lot of <laughs> But it's the only way to obtain a fire cape, infernal cape, and a lot of these really cool rewards. So they just... Well, here you go. Have that out. Yeah. They just turn into a race, and we get a POH. That race well. is going to be sick. First fire cape? Oh, man. Uh, That's yeah. going to be awesome. I wonder if they're going to do lowest level no, fire cape with like some of those um, damage boosters. You know, they're going to try to, well. Oh, yeah. That's going to be interesting. I guess they're already level three. The relic, they can't go much lower. Yeah. The relics are going to be so big um, for this. And then as Garnia, which sounds like where four lives, is compromised of the remainder of the free-to-play world. So you got Nislin and then as Garnia, and that's all of F2P. Along with the entire island of Entrana, uh, the pest control island. I guess you can do pest control. Like, pest control. would there be enough people to get void? Maybe I didn't really see void on the Probably. list. Did yeah, you see like twenty people or something? Did you start. see void on the the list here? Yeah, yeah. is it? Yeah. Well, you can definitely get void. There's okay. no way they would just randomly. All right, I don't know. Happen. I don't know. That'd be, if you can get void, that'd be pretty <laughs> sick, though. Yeah, it'd be pretty decent. They're looking to make their way into Caffrey. We'll be met with magical barriers preventing access to Fishing Town. Uh, Kandarin. Kandarin. We're like, um, this This might be my third like, unlock. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. It's a huge area. I really like that area, too. Uh, the Land of the Gnomes, uh -huh. the Mourners, and the Ogres offer players a selection of familiar content from Sears Village to Ape Atoll. The Nightmare Zone is restricted, and players can instead obtain Nightmare Zone points by purchasing them for one coin apiece. What? Yeah, it's to stop people from AFK training okay. too hard, probably. One coin of That's piece. not bad. I mean, you know, 200,000 coins for imbue, whatever. You know? So you can only buy imbuement, so you can't buy, like, other stuff. The shop's probably cleared, huh? Like, I, I think it was cleared with an update that I can't remember, but... Yeah, they're, they're, I don't know what they offer, but imbues, though, they offer. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. So, um, and then you have Mortania, probably one of the stronger areas to start in with all of what it has. Uh, it says, equip your garlic and silver if you wish to venture to Mortania, the lands east of Rock, including Mosle Harmless, Rain Dead Island, Dragon Tooth Island, and Harmony Island. Uh, I know some of those islands, I don't think they're that great. Some of those are quests. Is that where you get a black mask? Yeah. Are those islands? Or are the yeah, yeah, mostly harmless. So if you unlock harmless. this area, you get a Slayer Helm, pretty much. And and all the bosses yeah. <laughs> that comes with it. Yeah. Dude. Like barrows, you know. Like I'm surprised they didn't mention like I barrows. I might actually have to unlock Mortania then. T.O.B., you know, Nightmare. They even have Grotesque Garden. There's a lot in... in well, there's a lot of bosses in, in a lot of areas. Right? I was not thinking Black Mass, so that is huge. That is huge. I might actually have yeah, to unlock that Yeah, area. but the thing is, it's only melee. It's only melee bonus unless you imbue it, and but that's not in this region. Dude, you're right. You're right. Ah, right. oh. see what I mean by taking yeah. things for granted, right? Because like, like some twenty D you know, chess. Having... <laughs> yeah, you gotta play some five D chess. Bro. Crazy man. <laughs> yeah. 
um was, yeah i didn't think about that too like because i've talked to people and they're just always like but yeah you gotta you gotta remember this though i'm like oh shit you're right I, oh, yeah. yeah i think rapesy actually because he said well, he can only go an hour so and then he had to leave and i told him he should just walk yeah, yeah, out yeah, and not yeah, say anything yeah. no it's in the message uh, it's in the message. oh is it <laughs> I read, yeah i read it <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I never read the Discord. I'm so bad. I know. Oh, oh fuck, man. man. God damn it. Yeah. All right. Uh, We're just, just off, I guess. Hey, you got to do something, man. Fuck it. We're still going over some stuff here. Uh, Kandarin yeah. Desert. The desert. Don't forget your sunblock. It gets hot out in the desert. Unlock this area. The map will grant you access to all of the Polvenich, Dofram, Narda, and Menaphos. I probably said all of those wrong. So... Yeah, it's all the ancients there. Fair enough. Fremenic province. Yeah, man, it's huge. Man, ancients is big, pretty. I feel big. like Fremen is one of the weaker areas. I feel like there's not. A yeah, time. I mean, you got Vorkath though, dude. Oh, you got you got uh, you got Vorkath. You got Vorkath there. Maybe okay. DK. That makes it a bit usable. DK. Yeah. So not bad. Not bad. Pretty decent. You get per, the you, know, you get Barber Soul. Not bad. <laughs> Or like fighter's torso and stuff, I guess. Yeah, if you go for it, that'd be weird to try to get a fighter's torso like that. But I mean, it's pretty nice to have. I you guess. see those people and selling have... fighter's torsos, moving over to leagues to sell oh, fighter torsos. Not, it's fun, bro. That could be fun. Like different relics for for like you know that could maybe impact the the game. That game. Damn, dude, twenty D chest strikes again. I know. Yep. It's pretty. It's this one's like instead of Trailblazer League, it should be like five D Chess League. You know, so much to think about. This, this I love it. it. Whereas in like the other league, lot. you just oh look at a Slayer Master. Let's go do a task, right? It's, wasn't much there. Yeah, there's a lot. There's just a lot. Um, Tur think Tur about. Tur Turin Turin. I can't say that. I, yeah. I can't say half Turin. these words. I, I don't know how to say either. I just say Turin. This is um kind of on the other far left side of the map. We have the Elf City and then we have Zolra. And I think this is going to be one of the best areas. This and Mortania, right? Yeah, you get Hullith, uh, Sokano. Dude, I'm going to have to watch so and, many guys. Uh, <laughs> there's just a lot, bro. There's a lot to, to mess around with. Um, there's a lot to mess around with. Especially for those guys that haven't accessed these areas ever. You can kind of pick these, you know, for your first time ever. Yeah, you don't have to have like a 200 added. quest point main or anything. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah, you can just go, just pick it. You know, you have three choices, three extra areas to pick. From, so, a nice way to experience the game without really grinding, grinding. Um, yeah. Then the wilderness uh, includes an entirety. Although Last Man Standing is not accessible, you'll be able to face off against the Chaos Ellie King Black Dragon Corp. So they expect you to fight Corp. They expect someone to try that shit out. Mage Arena. Yeah, with relics. <laughs> yeah. You know? oh, maybe with the right relics. Maybe decent gear. Dude, maybe the relics yeah, might be. It. I might. Who knows? Who knows, man. Some, some invincibility thing or some healing thing, maybe, right? That could like uh, really help yeah. you. I might actually be able. We to shall see. see that's it. why like the relics are so huge because they could do crazy. They can do god shit. They can basically do. Hack I guess shit we'll see. I'm excited not... about it, man. It's gonna be dope, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, Should be interesting. Deaths will have behave differently in the wilderness when competing in leagues. PVM deaths will be treated like a PV or PVP deaths will be treated like a PVM death. With your lost items moving to the gravestone. And the gravestone moving to your respawn location. Uh, so it's not going to just be in your inventory. But right when you respawn, you just grab them back. PVM deaths are unaffected. We're going to be sharing even more. Okay. So that's pretty much the newest post on leagues about the starting areas. And kind of a little bit of a teaser on what you would get from those. <sighs> yeah, very well done. Very well done. So much beautiful this art. Works. So much. Everything on this league has looked awesome. so good. The mm -hmm. only thing is we're not going to know about the relics. Um... Do you, Until do you have out. the relic page where it goes over the passives that it gives? Oh, I mean, the the I mean, only the first three though. We only really, know I thought I saw one with like all eight. No, 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 no. There's only there's only the first three that we know. Of. Damn, master production, skilling prodigy, and the then the courier. You know, the one that banks stuff. The one that well, well each one comes uh, with a passive, um, right? I think they release the passives when you unlock each relic tier. Not like the relics themselves, but like the bonus you get, like stamina and stuff. Um, no, no I, I didn't do that. It uh, must have been a weird dream. I have those a lot. Yeah, I don't think they did that. But uh, we can quickly try to look real quick. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, we only know the first three. That was it. You know, the, we only know the first three. The 
Uh, endless Harvest, Production Master, Skilling Prodigy. The passive unlock is just everybody gets run. <laughs> that was it. That was literally it. That's true. Yeah, everybody gets run, and that was kind of... And that wasn't a relic thing at all. That's just, you know, them realizing, oh, shit, that's kind of fucked. That some of you guys going to walk and start <laughs> No and more walkers, so man. Oh, my God. When you have to walk, that's so Dude. sad. Oh, man. Everyone that's made so fun of the people. It was like a weird mob mentality thing where yeah, you get your tribe. It was, like slightly, it was like mostly banner, but sometimes a little toxic. I've been realizing lately humans like to form tribes, right? You got politics, sports. Oh, so it's going to be some weird tribes yep, going It's going to be like wilderness league. tribes and shit, dude. People are like, we're better. Man. The wildy boys, the terramin boys. The terramin know? boys? Oh, they're <laughs> the desert boy, you know? Who picked the desert? I mean, they're going to be the desert be boys, like, bro. Hot, hot, hot. They're going to be wearing white robes. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Never mind. The Caribbean alleys. <laughs> In, I'm yeah. excited, man. Are you going to be doing the 24 hour yeah. when it starts? Oh, God. I don't know about that, man. But I'll, I'll stream long. I'll stream long, man. If it goes 24, that's shit. It happens. Fuck yeah, dude. So be it. Right? That'd be great. <laughs> Do you like, because uh, I'm thinking I want to go Mortania with my third item. I, I want that black mask. I want arrows. I don't really see anything else that catches my eye. I want to go like um, Turwinin, Tur <laughs> whatever the fuck, Wilderness, and uh, Mortania. Oh. Okay. So, okay. Well, we do like Barrow's some Barrow yeah. streams, dude. Do some. Yeah, we could do some collabs. Yeah, man, that'd be dope, dude. We'd never be able to do no collabs, man. It'd, it'd be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Barrow's the closest I, thing. I mean, unless you want to do some bossy. Dude, I, could, I could be your fifth on a theater. <laughs> yeah, I, you want it to be like four bands, five bands. No, oh, I'm so booty. I, would... I mean, yeah, four bands are much easier. Uh, five bands are eight. But yeah, some nightmare. Nightmare's pretty honestly friendly. Really? Like, you know, would you be able to do a nightmare with two Iron Man? Like, does that work? Yeah, 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 you, yeah. It's like rates one and okay. two. Okay, cool. You know, yeah, I, I'll learn Nightmare. Do we can do some Nightmare. I'm down. I'll learn it. It doesn't look like in crazy. Yeah, Nightmare is a bit friendlier. It's easier to yeah. get into. TOB is just really hard because like we, we won't have like freezes and shit, so we're not gonna have like fucking entangles. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's gonna be rough, dude. Like, yo, fucking no Warhammer and Dark Beast. Like, we're not gonna hit much. You know, it's gonna it's take. It's gonna be over the to top tier people, dude. I don't think I could fit in TOB. Yeah. Nightmare, no, it's friendly. You can, you can, you can definitely get a mask going. Yeah, yeah, dude, that'd be dope. Get... Yeah. Well, um, I think we covered yep. pretty much everything that is out so far on the new Trailblazers League. Yeah, we, we packed a lot of info. Comes today. out October twenty eighth. Yeah. All three of us. Rakesy uh, had to leave. He's washing his grams. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're all going to be making content on that. Everyone's going to be making content on that. Tell us your plans for leagues. Yeah. What do you guys got going, man? Yeah, if you got some beer craft ideas, some combos, some interesting meta combos. Let us really steal your ideas, please. There. Fantastic. Or let us know how excited you are, you know? Yeah. So. All right, man. Shall we end it? Yeah. All yeah. right, boys. I, I See you in the next one. Bye-bye.